Hello chess lovers! While hiking in the wilderness, I decided to share with you another insane chess puzzle composed by legendary chess composer Alexei Troitsky. This was first published in 1914 in Deutsche Schachzeitung. Why to move and win the game? You can pause the video and try to find that solution. Ready? Well, in order to win the game, White is announcing a check from c7. Black is forced to give away his rook and d takes c7. In return for this powerful passed pawn on b2, White is managing to get a monster on c7. Now, Black has two choices to prolong his resistance, can either promote his pawn to a queen or to a rook. Let's have a look at the variation, starting with b1 queen, actually this can't make any difficulties for White. White can play king h2, and if bishop b7, then White can promote his pawn to a queen. If Black captures on c8, then after bishop takes c8 check, Black is forced to give away his rook, and after the exchange on b7, this pawn and game is hopeless for black. And at the same time, by promoting the pawn to a queen, white is threatening queen e6 check. If queen e4 trying to cover the e6 square, then anyways, white can announce that check, and after the exchange of queens on e6, this time white is threatening bishop c4 checkmate. If bishop c6, then bishop b8 check, and after bishop b7, bishop takes b7, king takes b7, again, this endgame is winning for white. That's why instead of promoting his pawn to a queen in order to make things more difficult for white, Belek is promoting his pawn to a rook. King goes on h2 and a very cunning move, rook b7. And in here, white has to be very careful because if you promote your pawn to a queen or even to a bishop, then the leg will have no more legal moves and this is a stalemate. That's why white is promoting his pawn to a rook. Just a fantastic idea in return for black's rook, white rook is appearing on the board. And it turns out that there is no way to protect this bishop on a8. Let's just make a random move by black rook b4 in order to win this pawn, then simply rook takes a8. Now if king b7, then rook c8. If rook takes a4, then white can first play bishop d7, and then c6 check is coming, and this endgame is winning for white, that's why it's over. I think that this was simply an astounding chess puzzle, guys. The way first Black promoted his pawn to a rook and then White went for another promotion was simply insane. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this puzzle. For more games consider subscribing to my channel, I will see you in the next videos. Sorry for more, for more puzzles, yes, for more puzzles, for more puzzles, consider subscribing to my channel.